Hey, what's going on, folks? Another great video here on Variety and Errors. Let's talk about another really cool error coin, and that's Brockage Coins. So what is a Brockage Error? Brockages occur when a mirror image of a coin is struck on a blank. After a struck coin fails to eject, a new blank is fed between the struck coin and the hammer die. The hammer die strikes the second blank, leaving its image on one side while pressing the blank against the previously struck coin, which sinks its image into the opposite side. Most brockages are off-center, but fully overlapping brockages are the most desirable and the most valuable. A brockage error can only occur when there are two coins involved. One of the coins involved will always be a struck coin which was not ejected properly. That struck coin will find its way back between the dies and will be struck next to a blank planchet which was fed into the collar. The image of that first struck coin will be impressed into that side of the blank planchet. The result will be a second coin which has images of the first coin impressed into it. Those images will be pressed into the coin and the image will be in reverse. This in-queue sunken image is known as a brockage. Now prices for brockage errors can vary greatly, but are always valuable. 50% brockages usually sit between the $600 and $1,500 mark across all coins. In recent years, this has increased, but generally stays between the $1,000 to $2,000 mark. For large percent brockages, this price can see high ceilings or no ceiling at all as recent auctions over the last few years have seen various coins like buffalo nickels and Washington quarters with brockages sell for well over five to $6,000. Other instances of highly graded error coins in this category have been seen selling in upwards of tens of thousands of dollars approaching the $50,000 mark at various auction houses. Let me know what you think about Brockage Error coins in the comments below, and let me know what you've come across in your coin and banknote searches lately. I'll see you in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.